Got up this morning and I'm feeling nothing Sleep from yesterday, pop out of my jeans Oh The date was 24 of July You hold my hand for the first time <laughs> That was a time Oh And my necklace that you buy me is gone And my heart hurts, but I should lay alone Like there's nothing wrong Nothing wrong I can't move on Need to get away from you to make myself What's up, YouTubers and dronies? This is Mike for Drones Are Eagles here I am, once again, Kensington Avenue. It's exactly 7.55 a.m. here on the East Coast, Thursday, the 24th of August, 2023. First, let me say, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you be notified every time I go live, which is 11.30 every single day. Eastern here in Philadelphia, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on the West Coast in L.A. And 4.30 p.m. in the U.K. But today, I will be going live at 1.30 p.m. Um, I got some things to do after I leave here. Uh, so, yes. I'd like to thank everybody that joined me across the pond. And everybody down under. Thank you for being here. New subscribers, thank you for being here. I got my bag with me to give out medical supplies, like I always do when I'm here. If you want to help with medical supplies, I have an Amazon wish list that is in the link of the description. It's in the link. The link is in the description of all my videos. You can check out the Amazon wish list there. I also got GoFundMe. I also got PayPal, Cash App, Buy Me a Coffee, etc. So check the, check those links out and uh, let me start by seeing if anybody. Uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, they're cleaning. They're busy cleaning. Uh, let's go, let's go to Needle Park. A lot of you guys always, um, know that I go to Needle Park. Um, I got, I brought a box of syringes with me. Yeah, I got a, I got a whole box of syringes. And I know I'm going to get hate comments from trolls and people that don't understand opioid addiction I give out new syringes uh, for people that don't understand this is for you guys I give out new syringes because a lot of the people out here they, they share needles out here and they and they spread the hepatitis C and they spread the HIV virus I've, I've seen them pick up needles from the ground and reuse them you know and, and it slows down the spread of it so that's why I give out uh, new needles no different from uh, teachers and principals giving out condoms to uh, high school students to stop teen pregnancy, slow down teen pregnancy, <clears throat> no difference. Um, so yeah, I also got gauze. I, I, what I brought is the three main things people ask for: gauze, antibiotics, and syringes. And I, a part of the little medical baggies that I make to hand out. I brought extra gauze, extra syringes, and extra antibiotics, triple antibiotics. Uh, those are the main three things that they always ask for when I come out here. Um, the women, of course, asked for spray deodorant, which somebody sent me. I gave some of some them out last time. Uh, oh, we got a scarecrow. Look at that, a live scarecrow down here. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's doing. He must, must be a worker. Why has he got the pole like that? What the hell is he doing? I don't know. Um, let me fix this camera. It's too low. There you go. Start on that. Push it down some. Right there. Right there. Uh, let's see what these people need. Uh, medical supplies. Uh. 
You guys need any medical supplies? What's that? Medical supplies? Uh, do I have any? No, do you need some? Uh, I need to use some. Yeah. Uh, but I got calls. I got. I gave you guys. I even, no, it's for free. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I give it out. I don't. Let me let me just turn this off. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't give it out. I, I don't sell it. No. No, 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 no. No, I got I got galls. Okay. I, I got medical bags. Yeah, anything you can uh, anything you can is I got. Yeah. Use medical supplying. I'm Don, by the way. Don. Yeah. Nice to meet you. That's Don, everybody. I'm Mike. What is your name? I said, I said Ron. No, I'm Ron? <laughs> Ron. First, here, take that. That's a, um. Okay. You take that. All right. And um, you want some syringes? Uh, yeah. I need you guys. Okay. I don't know if you do. I you all right. Uh, how about gauze? You need gauze? Yes. I brought a I brought a big big bag with me. Fill that up. Right. You need gauze, right? Yes. Please. Thank yeah. You. Okay. Hey, you can have some of this stuff too. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I just say thank you for doing yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, no, no problem. Here you go. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, and some antibiotics. Oh, always. Definitely need that. Here you go. So your name is, what's your name again? Don. Don? Yeah. And your name? Marley. <clears throat> like the motorcycle. So how long have you been out here? You don't mind if I'm asking. Uh, I've been here uh, roughly going on six years now. Six years? Oh, my God. You must, you probably seen a lot out here. Oh, yeah. I've seen everything. Everything in there. Everything. What's the worst thing you've seen out here? Um, uh, honestly, you know what's the worst? Honestly, the, the fucking, the, the, the lack of, like, caring about basic human needs and basic human Well, I see, I see them give out a lot of clothes and a lot of food, but that's why I choose medical supplies, because there's not too many of that. Even, yeah, that, I mean, that's good, but I'm just talking about overall, like, even if, like, you know, the fact you see dead, you see people out here, you don't know if they're dead, and people just walk right over, they don't, they don't Yeah, know. yeah, I've seen that. And, I, so and the police officers, too, do also uh -huh. do that. Yeah, the police officers do that. They, they just, it's just so, we're so, you're so, they're so numb to it, they just don't, Care and I think it's just it's crazy. I think even after all that you know shit you see, you still gotta care somewhat. Like, and some people just don't. Right, I right. Get it, I don't condone it though. So that's the worst thing you see out here. How about shootings and stuff like that? I mean, I've seen some shootings. So I've seen shootings. I've seen a guy. Uh, I've seen a guy get hit by a car. And fucking shoe go flying four blocks. I don't know if you made it. Wow. I saw people uh, you know, face, go face first the train tracks. I've heard like shit like people being tortured and shit like. You drop, you drop something. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I dropped um, Yeah, this girl that set on fire in the middle car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about that one. I thought it was that girl in the trash bag. I didn't know. Yeah, she was, she was burned by somebody. I don't know. But she, she survived. She's in Florida now with her mother. Wow. Yeah, she's doing a lot better. I saw some guy run down a girl on, on purpose. Down on, um, I want to say it was G and like... Right, right, like, run over, what we talking about, run over a car? On yeah, purpose? Yeah, Jeep. Like, wow. He was, he was coming down, put the G Street right there, and where he leads you to the quick stop. Right, right. And uh, he came from Allegheny Avenue, and I swear to God, once he hit uh, Needle Park, he was doing like 60. Wow. Like, he didn't she had to die then. She had to die. Oh, yeah, she, it was gruesome, man. When she, he hit her, she flew, and like her pelvis was just like the other way. Wow. Like the, the human being. When this happened? Oh, this was here. This is probably like, Two or three years ago, four years ago, maybe. Okay. It was a while, it was a while ago. Right, right, right. Um, and I know he, he did it on purpose because one, he didn't fucking stop, he didn't care, and he was screaming something at her as he went out, you know, the window, like some crazy man, right, right. Ah, whatever he's screaming. So. 
Xylazine, this drink that's, that's making people lose their arms and legs. What do you think about that stuff? I mean, I think if, you know, maybe if we had went the you know, harm reduction route and started you know, legal heroin clinics, maybe we wouldn't have this fucking problem. You know, and I think uh, if we still do that, you know, we can, we can maybe get some people off this shit. Right. You know, if you start providing a fucking drug that is the same consistency through and through, just like you do aspirin, the same as here, aspirin the same here in Cal as it is in California. Gotcha. If you start providing it where people don't have to go get this shit because they're addicted, then maybe, just maybe, we might have people getting off this shit. But if you yeah. don't treat, if you don't do the problem, you just put the band-aid on it of, the, of either the jail or the rehab or the seven-day detox and five-day detox, and you're about to do the same shit, the same shit's going to happen. Right, maybe right. something different. And Every time they've done the legal uh, harm reduction route, mm -hmm. you know, Vancouver, British Columbia, a bunch of other places, it works. It right. works in, in every metric they measure. It so it's like, why? Why? Well, because you don't want to look at a heroin. Well, you know what? You don't want to look at fucking what's going on right now. So maybe if you do that, that'll clear the streets. And yeah, you might look at a, a heroin thing, but you don't have to look at fucking dead kids and dead people every fucking day and step over them to get to your car. Right. You're right. You're right. So are you from Philly? Uh, I mean, I've been here for, I'm originally from like Canada County. Yeah, South Jersey, Belmar. Jersey, okay, yeah. yeah. But I, I mean, I, yeah, I lived under. I so, so what's your plan under. here? Are you, are you thinking of staying here any longer? Are you going to get some help? Get out of uh, here? I mean, I did the help route. I was sober for eight years. I did all that. I thought about using every day. You know, um, yeah. I think for me personally, I, I think there is a, a, a middle ground. And I know everybody says there's not. They say you can't manage your using. They say if you're an addict, you jail is death. That's the only thing that's going to happen. Right. And I disagree with that. I think there are things we can do, things we can teach people, ways we can live with this. I mean, people do it all the time. If you, poverty, drug addict, drug addiction isn't a lot of these people's main problem. It's poverty. Right, right. Yep, if poverty. you had the money to do the drugs and not to steal. Sorry about that. I can't even hear. Yeah, if, you, okay. if, you, if we had the money, addicts had the money to do the drugs they need to and not have to go boost and steal and do crazy illegal shit to get the money, you know, then maybe they wouldn't have such fucked up lives out here. They wouldn't be homeless, you know, if they didn't have to waste all their money on drugs. You know right. what I mean? But um, we do. And so now, you know, you, you don't provide any alternative. It's just going to be the same fucking thing. So for me, I think there's a way, there's, there's got to be, there's a middle ground. I don't know what it is exactly. I've, I think there's, you don't have to be so fucked up, you're sucking your kneecaps every day, but I also don't think you have to technically, you, you have to be sober. I, right, I think right. you can do a thing, and I think if, if some people out here, if your only problem is that you're an addict, if you were, well, your biggest problem is you're an addict, and it's not that like, you're a bad person, you join them, then what's the big deal? I mean, people mm. use drugs all the time, people right. drink. So if you can find that middle ground, you know, I mean, I can go on, I have a whole, I can go on forever, but yeah, yeah, yeah. my point is, yeah, I think there's a middle ground that we have to find, because what we're doing is not working. Right. It's not, no, it's not. Shit. No, it's the, not. The, the, the same going into the institutions, but the, it's just like you're an inmate in jail. Gotcha. And, and, and people don't vibe with that. A lot of people don't vibe with the God thing, the religion thing. Even though it's not a religious program, but it is, but it isn't. And if you read the chapter of Agnostic, you're just an idiot for not believing in God. So it's like, you know. Uh, I hear you. What, what are you yeah. going to do? So. Yeah. Yeah, there's got to be Listen, so um, I appreciate your time, man. Um, be yeah, safe man. out here. Be careful out here, man. Yeah, no worry, man. There's you. a lot of shootings. In my oldest kid's mother just got shot out here a couple months ago, so be yeah. careful, all right? I thank you for your time, man. God bless you guys, all right? What's that? Huh? No, I don't. Sorry. Yeah. But, then, I, but there's, there's, uh, if you need water for your syringe, there's, there's no, one inside there. All right. All right. Thank, no thank you. Take care, man. All right. Well, America, that's just one of many, many people out here that has thousands of different stories to tell. Uh, everybody down here got their own story, their own life, and there's millions of stories, really, of people's lives out here. You could turn into a documentary, man, or a mini-series or something. Um, but, uh... Uh, I went on and went on and went on that uh, I ran, I'm running out of space on this upload. So please tune in tomorrow 
for the continuance of this upload. I want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, everybody across the pond down under. Here comes another train. This is why I can't wait for my microphone to come in today. So I don't have to yell every time this train goes by. I'm sorry about yelling. Yes, it's out for delivery. The DJI microphone that belongs to this camera. It's, it's, it's literally out for delivery today. So, uh, I can't, I'm, I'm just, I, you know, tomorrow's, tomorrow's video, I'm not gonna have it, even though I'll have it, a microphone today, but tomorrow's video, I'm not gonna have it because tomorrow's video that you're gonna watch is literally today's video. So, uh, tune in tomorrow, guys. Thank you for being here. Remember, love is the key, drama free. Heal the past, live the present, and dream the future. Love, peace, health, and happiness to all. Thank you all for being here. Make sure you hit that notification. Make sure you like and subscribe. Love you guys. Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I